Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a 3x3 vault door. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is the vault door here, uh, it's not as big as you think, this is actually decoration, you don't need this part ready, I just put it in there for decoration, and on the, uh, it's only like one wide with a bit on the bottom here, which is two wide, but that's like a physical limitation, you literally need to have too wide of blocks in a vault door so that's just uh you can make it smaller yeah anyways uh, without the decoration it looks like this it doesn't look really as nice but it is smaller but i think what every one of you guys would do and what uh, you should actually uh, have installed in your house would be something like this now it looks way nicer this would be your hallway here and yeah this as a vault door i mean man and like with shaders then yeah this looks sick my game almost crashes now when I have shaders. I do not know why. I updated my graphic drivers and it starts stuttering. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, what should I? What more should I say? It's really quick on the opening. It's a bit slower with the exit because of the double piston extender at the back there, but it's still like this is a fast vault door. I won't I think it might be one of the I think it might be the fastest one but don't quote me on that I really don't know unfortunately it is not a spiral vault door but to achieve such a form factor we needed to cut a bit of corners okay guys I'm stopped I'm gonna stop talking let's get straight into building the thing these are the items that you need here not much uh actually when i was uh, building it i thought it's gonna be way more expensive of course you don't need to use um quartz blocks or orange wool these uh can be exchanged for any uh solid block okay guys starting off uh, we're gonna dig a two hole like this place in the wool uh, here we place a repeater, here more orange wool, here we add redstone dust, and now we have the double piston extender part of it, so you need to, yes, do it like this. Now you take your observers, place one here, here and here you need to place the quartz, you leave the spot here for the sea lantern that should be the uh, double piston extender done now here uh, you're gonna place a temporary block then the redstone lamp now you can take your n another one of those observers take it here and of course this is needs to be set to vortex here next to this we take our piston place it here facing downwards temporary block observer here uh, like so this way and facing into a block of quartz with a dropper and if I'm not mistaken now we take something like this out of it yes and now we take sticky pistons here redstone dust here two redstone dust here 
our netherite blocks and that's the bottom section done guys it's really that simple here you're gonna take a temporary block place your two sticky pistons up here like so with an observer up the bottom here facing downwards into the redstone dust over the redstone lamp next we take our second dropper place it here on the top of it we take the redstone dust with a block on top of it and with a lever here uh, here we place two observers like so facing into a piston here with two redstone repeaters set to one tips on the top here and uh, now you're gonna take a block of wool place it here take your two redstone dust place it here place a temporary block here two redstone uh, two wool here with redstone dust on top of it sticky pistons like so and if i'm not mistaken that's it guys let me check and there's your double uh, there's your vault door right there it's really 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 cool i love it and uh really small i mean like the rest of the ports that you have left over you can uh place it around like here you can fill in the gaps here like so that shouldn't change anything and you can add this and then you go around like so and boom that's your double piston ex oh why i keep saying double piston extender this is not a double piston extender it's a vault door which i accidentally broke yeah, and now you've got your vault door with some decorative blocks on the sides here. Really, not that hard. I wouldn't say this is a hard build. You could definitely do this as a beginner. I was talking a bit quickly, but then you can slow down the speed and you're gonna be a okay. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a ton of fun to make and I hope this vault door will keep all your sensitive belongings in Minecraft safe. You can pair it up with a redstone torch key or an upcoming uh, key card system so you, it's even more secure. Anyways guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!